everybody, it's Laura Kelly here sharing with you a holiday Christmas project, making a jingle all the way wood slice decoration with Americana chalky finish paint from Deco Art. Super fun, super simple. I'm gonna show you all the steps so you can whip up this really darling Christmas decoration for your home. Okay, let's make this adorable Christmas decoration. I've already done the first step and I painted the wood slice with Deco Arts chalky finish in the color Romance and let it dry. And once it's completely dry, which takes about a half an hour to an hour, you're ready to do your stenciling. So these are the stencils that come in the two packs. I so much love them. I'm gonna do Jingle All The Way. You can see I've already used it once. A great thing about these stencils is you can use them over and over again. So I'm gonna get this exactly where I want it. And then I'm just gonna use some regular tape to hold it down. Some people use special tape. Um, this is gonna work for what I'm doing right here. So there we go. I am gonna use the color um, Chucky Finish here, the Everlasting White to do my stenciling. And stenciling just has a couple simple tips that make it so much easier. So the first thing I can tell you is you don't need a lot of paint when you're stenciling. You only need a little tiny bit. So I'm gonna use what's right here in the lid. And I'm gonna dab my paint. And then I'm going to dab it over here because I don't want much. And then I'm going to dab it around in the stencil area. And it looks like it's not putting much down there, but you can go over it a couple times to get the amount of paint on there that you want. If you do too much, it'll bleed through and it will ruin your project. And that is a really yucky, sicky, yucky, sicky, yucky feeling. So anyway, you just dab it all around on your um, on your stencil. You can see I'm going back over where I can see some spaces that didn't get it very dark and you'll get your whole jingle all the way done. I love the little elf feet that come with this set too. I'm excited to try those on a project as well. Here, I'm gonna hold that down with my finger right there just to make sure that I don't get it where I don't want it. And I'm almost done with the jingle. Jingle, jingle, jingle. You could use silver, which would be fun in the bell. I don't have silver right here, but that would be fun. I'm going to do something really fun on the top, though, that makes it a very sparkly, beautiful project, so I don't need silver on this one. Now I'm doing the all the way, same way, just dab, 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 dab. I kind of say that to myself whenever I'm doing it, it's almost like a little song or something. And that is it. When that's all finished, you can take your stencil off to reveal it and let it dry. All right, the paint is dry and it looks awesome. Jingle all the way. And now we're gonna make it super sparkly with these craft twinkles from DecoArt. How fun are those? I'm gonna open up my little container. I'm gonna pour some craft twinkles in this container right here. And then I'm gonna brush them on. Look at that. It's just like pure glitter goodness. And I'm gonna paint over my whole jingle all the way. Wood slice with the sprinkles, or the twinkle, the sprinkly twinkles. And look at that, that is amazing. The way that that glitter is in the like, like jelly kinda, not really pink, just kinda like a glue almost. And the more you put on there and the more layers you put on there, the more sparkle you're gonna get. That is good for me. I'm gonna just kinda even it out a little bit. And then we're gonna let those dry and we'll be right back for the last and final step. All right, everything is dry, it's sparkly and beautiful. On the top, I have used a staple gun to staple in some twine to make a little handle. And now I'm just gonna use an extra piece of twine, tie a knot around this to add a little bit of greenery. Just have a little bit of um, fake Christmas tree here. And I'm gonna tie it on like, ah, almost like that. Let me try that again. I'm just gonna stick it through here. And I'm going to tie that in a bow, because bows are always pretty. And there it is. So darling and adorable. I want to also show you another one that I made. I used a cut up piece of stencil from a different deco art stencil pack. 
and I just made a little wood slice that says love with that stencil so you can do like lots of different sizes and different kinds of projects and then I also wanted to show you these little tiny wood slices I put some of the um, craft twinkles on here and made an adorable little love token this would be fun for Valentine's Day or to add to an ornament or to a decoration like that so I think what makes all of this so incredibly magnificent are the craft twinkles from DecoArt. They are so sparkly and so fun and so festive and they just make your project that much more awesome. Okay, how sparkly and amazing are these craft twinkles from DecoArt? I totally love them. Isn't this so much fun? Think of all of the different ways you could make this for different holidays, occasions, and celebrations. I love it and it's so easy. I hope that you're inspired to run out and get some stencils and some chalky finish paint and make some decorations for the holidays of your own. Until next time, peeps, see you later.